Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have a master number 40 and we're gonna try to impression this. My first thoughts on this, um, these types of disc padlocks are really clunky so I feel like um, it's gonna take some hard turning pressure but I think it's gonna get leave some good imprints on it. Um, if I had a way to pull the shackle as I was doing this, you can see it turns the keyway a little bit. So if I was able to pull this at the same time as impressioning it, I'd be able to add some turning force there, but unfortunately I'm not <clears throat> because the only way I can figure out how to get this clamped in is this way right here, completely upside down with the keyway right there. I already have my key blank prepped and in the grip. This is one of rubber bands handles, great handles, freaking love them. Anyways, let's go. So again, like I said, good turning force. I can already feel that this doesn't have as much wiggle. So I think we'll have some better marks on this. <laughs> yeah, it looks like pin four. I'm gonna hit that. Usually when I'm starting off marks like this, I'll have a little piece of tape on my thumb that way I can help guide this to get the first marks going in the right direction. There we go. Looks good. In fact, I'm going to a little bit more off the end there. Just kind of smooth it off. I to be careful not to hit my damn file on this other one. I have this like this because the way I have the key clamp, the key rests perfectly on the file right here and the handle rests perfectly right there. So it's nice and even for me so I don't have to worry about balancing it. And there's already some turn, it looks like. We'll see. Looks like some more on four. Yep, I see a mark there on four. Let's check the depth of it before we go any further. That's a perfect three, so let's leave it right there. And I clean it off with the cloth because the cloth grabs brass shavings and just pulls them off really nicely and easily. Looks like there's still a mark on four. <clears throat> I can see the other key start, or the other pin starting to leave marks. If they're not quite there yet, the mark on four is an indentation, so we want to stick with the good mark first. Go, let's DM fuzz. Let's check our bidding here. So we are at a four now. Perfect. Let's look at it. Make sure there's no marks we're going to mistake later. Especially because sometimes when you put this in, this is metal. It could leave a mark on the brass, so... Always want to double check it before you put it back in. That way you don't mistake that later. The mark on four is very tiny. The mark on one seems the most pronounced. But I want to make sure, I'm gonna pull over my other light here for my lamp because it's a different light. This one has more of a LED type brightness to it where it's bright. This one has more of a soft white. And that can sometimes make a difference in seeing your marks. Yeah, four is a very slight mark there, so I think I'm gonna just give it one pass to smooth it out. I'm gonna hit one. So, smooth that out. One, two, 
three. And I see marks on two and three, but they aren't prominent yet. It's just, it's just marks enough to say, hey, the pin is here. So I'm not going to touch those yet. These are impression right here, and that is definitely a mark on one. That one is obvious. In fact, let's make sure we measure this before we go. I'm confident that three strokes is a is a new depth for me personally, but occasionally want to check to make sure you're not screwing up. I'm just doing one final soft one there because that last one felt like I wasn't quite straight on my stroke. Keep your stroke straight, people. Checking for marks before we put it back in. And I actually want to... Number four still has a little bitty mark going on it, so I'm not... It isn't... It's an actual indentation, it's not a, a false impression. So we're gonna go with that. Still see a mark on one. I see tiny marks on two and three. But they're not leaving an actual indentation yet. I don't see anything on four anymore, so I think four is perfect. That smoothing out is what we needed. That mark on one is a clear indentation, so I'm going to take that down. Let's be safe. Key cards are our friends, our decoder cards. So we're at a three. Let's take it down to a four. And there we go. We are at a four. Look at it again before we stick it back in the key and turn it to make sure we didn't leave any extra marks in there we might mistake later. There's nothing on one now. Not that I see. I do see a mark on four. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna get our soft white light here. Yep. That is four. It's not deep, so actually. go to a six but I want to take it down just a tad more so here's our key so far nothing on two and three yet I have a feeling that will come soon gotta remember to keep my Tension on this more than other locks because these clunky discus locks 
just, they are a pain in the ass. I don't like picking them for that reason. Four is good, one is good. We have the most mark on two, possibly. I'm going to stick it back in. Make sure. See a little one on four there. Let me get under the soft white here. Yeah, that's a clear indentation. Two and three are just they're scratches, not indentations. So we're gonna hit four. We're at a five. Let's take it down to a six. See that our bidding is getting very wild here. So I do have a feeling at some point we will be taking down two and three a little bit, at least three, because our our max 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 adjacent cutting specification is starting to get thrown off a little bit. on here. Try not to break the key. Okay, I think we got a... Looks like pin three. So... It's going to be a pain to get directly on pin 3. It's kind of on the edge there, so... Here we go. A little missing skin never hurt anybody. Unfortunately, it slipped a little bit and... It's a little uneven there. So, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take this 400 grit over a little bit, try to smooth out that area. Go. And I'll look at it because it's not, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Okay. I think we're good. My base is stable, the tape will have it on, not so much. Yep, there we go, pin number three. Depth out of five. So we got probably a little bit more turn here. I'm trying to add good tension to this. Damn, not too much either. It's a clunky lock.
not seeing anything. So what I'm going to do take this thousand grit. I'm going to go over each little spot. Doing this very softly. Doing this just to smooth it out. Because I want to be sure of anything I see. And I typically only do this when I'm having trouble seeing marks. At the top of that ridge right there. Because this alone can sometimes make it harder to see marks. Okay, so I'm going to run our light over it. If there's nothing we're going to mistake later. Not seeing a whole lot. I'm going to take it under this light here. I do see a little mark on two, so we might have to bring that down. I don't see any pin markings on anything else. All the file lines are still going very straight and smooth. So let's go for pin number two. And what I'm going to do in this situation get this to focus you can see pin number two come here bastard focus sorry about that pin number two is really high it's above everything else so I'm not gonna use my round file I'm gonna use a flat file to bring this down to keep a flat surface that way I have more area to see a mark and of course you have the lines you go okay yeah the lines are there it should be right there but it's just out of principle for me just to be safe because for me, I just want this open. I don't care if the key looks pretty at this moment. That little one's being a little bit of a pain to get smooth, so. There we go. And it's rough, so I'm gonna take a 400 over it. Yep. So I'm going to use the flat file. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the flat file again just because it's hard to get that balanced on that edge right there. This is a very strong metal file, so we don't need to go too far. It's almost at the depth of one. Still just slightly higher. Let's check the depth, actually. We haven't done that for two yet. It's out of three. Marks on it. There's a few rough marks on it still. 
There we go. And there is our open. So here we go. It's a very tight open, very hard to turn, so I have no doubt when we pull this out, we'll have another mark to file down. Yep, pin two right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with our normal file here. Let's actually measure it first so we don't overdo it. We're at a three. We won't need too much more to take it down to a four, so I'm gonna give two strokes. One, two. And there we go, perfect. There's our open, smooth, working key. And there's our bedding. Here, let's zoom in a little bit. There's our bedding, there's our lock, smooth, working key. All right, everyone. That was Impressioning A Master Number 40 Discus Clock. Thanks for watching.